How's it guys? Welcome back to my channel. Very excited today. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one and I'm sorry it took some time. Um, we were waiting. Let me just fix this camera. Okay. We were waiting for them to come in, um, but they are in the new um, Polk Audio Reserve 600, the R600 series. As you guys would recall, following the channel, we had the bookshelves in a little while back and I was amazed by those. So I can't, hear, I can't wait to hear what the 600s are going to sound like. Um, and these, there's one bigger than this store, there's the R700. So if I, um, this set is on loan from Homation, so thanks again for them sponsoring this show. Um, thank you, Alan, you always come through, Nick, thanks guys. So promotion on demo i'm going to unbox them and then i'll put them up like a demo like i always do and compare them to the equivalent speakers and we'll also see how far you can go to beat these because i'm expecting a lot from them <clears throat> the r700s one up so these have six and a half inch drivers the r700s have the eight inch drivers only thing that sort of baffles me and you guys can go and look online i can't figure this out so these you get, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess, now. I'm not going to be exact, so I'll put the names again. You get them in black, you get them in white, and then you get them in walnut, I think. But where the weird thing comes in now, I sort of wanted to go white, because I've got a thing for white speakers. You don't get the R700s in white. So if you're going to go R700, you're going to have to go black, because they only come in black. I think maybe black and walnut, but it's weird that you don't get them the range in the same color so i don't know what the thought process behind this was that they think that okay up to 600 you're going to use for cinema and then r700 is going to be stereo only so we're not going to bother um, bother of having a matching sensor speaker and surround speakers which for me is kind of a miss because as audio files are um you always want the biggest and the best um and i've learned that lesson i always buy the biggest one to not be disappointed and think what the next one, what, if, you, if you buy like the 600, to sort of think what would the 700 have been for a bit of extra money on that. So I'll do a bit of research. I don't know what they're thinking behind that was, but okay. So let's get into these. I'm going to start unboxing them. Very excited. So I'm going to talk while I'm unboxing. I actually think that Polk over over engineered this and made these sound too good for those of you that know the reserve series uh, borrows the exact same drivers and technology that the legend series incorporates and the legend series is more than twice the price um, the only thing where the legends um, are better is it's a superior build quality and finish but you know in today's world um bang for buck is that counts so on top we get the manual so as you see 500 600 700 so they name them in the same range why the colors don't come the same i don't know um so fl uh, floor standing speakers five six seven center speakers 300 350 400 so there's a wide range normally you get like one or two centers you get three to choose from in here and then bookshelf speakers 100 and 200 200 being the ones that we had they are phenomenal go watch that video if you've not watched it just go through my link and you will see it there um at the back supplied allen key uh, as I believe these do ship with the feet on. So I don't know what the Allen key is for. We will find out. Let's dive, dive deeper in the box. Um, okay, so let's do our normal flip and lift system. Uh, this is always the recommended way of getting a speaker out of a box. With charm, don't try and lift the speakers out. You're only going to hurt yourself or damage your speaker. Okay, so they have the same type of packaging as Definitive Technology does. Brilliant packaging where you have the bag, the bag over the speaker, 
polystyrene tops and bottoms as you can see there and there's a middle section and then there's the box over that that sort of ties the whole thing together so very good packaging but Falk has never been one to skimp on packaging they have yeah they pack I think they've got guys in, that, that are employed just to go through the unboxing experience dude they, yeah, they even have a bag in a bag man I love their packaging I really really love their packaging so this is the top so I guess the bottom is the plinth now we just need to figure out do we roll it again let's roll it again okay so we take this off yeah so there the feet are on the feet ship on and they have this epic power port I'm going to show you guys now so look they have a plastic bag and then they have another additional um, felted bag to protect the speaker so let's just see oh we okay so it comes off oh this power port oh, how polk makes this for the money i really don't know it, it, oh, look at this guys look at this i'm not even going to talk just show you look at that turn it a bit see from the side see the power port how it goes in and this goes in deep and these feet are nice they're adjustable they're rubber um and again this is this is not it's not a cheap set of speakers but it's not like legends it's not hundred thousand rand speakers um i'm gonna have to guess now at the price of these i'm gonna link it in here guys um off the top of my head without having looked at anything because i just got these this morning so I didn't even have time to go through it. But I did check the prices a while back. I think recommended retail on these is somewhere in the 20s. It's not in the 30s. Um, I'm thinking now. But still, to get this finished, look at this beautiful. Um, let me bring this closer. Look at this beautiful industrial type hard wearing black finish. This is amazing. So I'm going to get a set in black. I, black. I love this black. So single ended binding posts. But we've done this exercise guys. The dual binding post at this price range. No one uses them. It's a waste of money. And at the end of the day. you Guys that are buying this. They're not going to be adding two different amplifiers. On the top and the bottom section. So I get it. When we get to 700s. That might be different. I'm, I'm actually going to. Up, I love these speakers. I'm going to get the sevens. Then we can see. I've got a feeling they're going to be meant for more stereo use. And they might be dual. But look at how beautiful these posts are. Again, at this price range, you don't get a beautiful post like this. It's, it's exceptionally well made. It's a nice sort of indented binding post. Being more rigid and strong. So there's no chance for flexing. It's just very pretty. Everything feels much more expensive than what you are paying for but okay let's get this boy upright so we can see the money end okay let's get the bags off I'll sort out that packaging now nice felted bag beautiful cover okay business side so again we have this beautiful grill that I said on the previous one. I can't remember that I have white ones. Black ones. I can't remember now. But I remember this grill. It's going to angle it to the light. It's exceptional. The way it, it follows the curve. It's not just a flat grill. It follows the curve of the speaker. And the whole speaker is also rounded on the edges. The top part is flattened off. But it's a very sleek, minimal, industrial look. Listen to this. This is very well braced. Hats off, bulk. You guys are back in the game. This is the replacement for the nice magnetic grills. This is the replacement for the um, RTI series, which I was one of my first 
high-end or medium-end speakers. Back then it was high-end for me. Now I know it's only medium-end, um, if there is such a thing. Okay, so six and a half inch um, turbine cone coming directly from the Legend series. Tweeter, again, that I'm forgetting all the technical jargon now. I'll write it down again. The spender uh, something, what did they call it? It's going to bug me now until I remember it. Sorry, guys. Um, um, I'm just going to link it in. I remember it was something, pin, nin, 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 something. And then the turbine cone tweeters. This is made to um, make the speaker more rigid. So it doesn't, when the bass is hitting, the rubber flexes, but the cone itself does not flex. And you can just feel it. And it looks the parts. Again, do you want to put a grill on this? It just looks amazing. But this is a warning for hazards. Kids putting their fingers on there, that's a sharp, sharp tweeter. So I would put the grills on just for people coming, oh, what's this? Well, look at this. And then poking your tweeter. And um, might cause damage to themselves and to their speakers. Well, nice park logo there. It's still got the plastic on there, so I'm not going to take that off. But yeah, guys, so that's, that's the unboxing. The next video... I'm going to put these guys through the paces against much more expensive speakers. Put them against the monitors, put them against the bowers. Um, let's see what they can do. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Bye. How's it, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now, this shootout video for you guys today. I know you guys love the shootout videos. Been having good responses to them. So I'm going to keep on, keep on going with it. Um, I tried to get a... Get a few speakers here, different prices, so you guys can see. So what we're actually reviewing today is the Polk R600, the new Reserve Series 600. I'm going to take the grills off to keep it fair, because the grill can make a bit of a difference to the sound. And all the other speakers have grills off, so let's just keep it fair before the comments start saying, no, the grills made a difference. So grills off, there they go. So, you guys also like when I mention the prices. So keep in mind that the price is recommended retail price in South Africa. They might differ in your countries. Um, so, let's start quickly. As you know, the Polk are 600s. They retail for 29,990 Rand. You guys can work that back into dollars or whatever. Um, this is just like I say, prices currently here. So 29,990 Rand. Then we have the Benki FS250. These are our own local brands, so you guys will not find them in the, in the States or your countries. They're only available in South Africa. So, but these retail for the same price, 29,990 Rand. So price-wise, these are the same, but these actually fall in a much higher bracket because they're made locally um, they are a better value, but I'll let you guys be the judge because I'm going to be playing, switching on the speaker selector again as we go through the songs. Um, I was going to have the monitor audio bronzes in here. I just don't have enough space. If you guys would like to see the monitor audio bronze, I can do that. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave them out. Then, to the side, I have the Bowen and Wilkins anniversary edition the 603s they are the most expensive speak out of the bunch here they are 36,490 rand i repeat 36,490 rand then off to the far left the set over here it's the smaller set of bentleys i would think these two are the most direct competition in sound but not in money the FS120s are 14,995 Rand. They are the least expensive speaker in this lineup. Okay, so what we're going to be using for testing. I have the mother of receivers. Well, not the mother of all. The mother of all for me is Denon 8500. But a close second best mother of all for me. The Marantz 8015. How are we running it? To a speaker selector, which is a Russ sound. And I can select four speakers on there, and they will be the different speakers as we go. 
I will be telling you guys what he's playing as we go, so you know. Um, let me just grab my phone. We are streaming off title. I need to use royalty free music, otherwise they flag me. I'm already getting copyrighted, but it's fine. I'm not being flagged to a point where they want money. So we can enjoy it. I found a nice little piano pop ballad, which goes through a wide genre of music. There's some piano, there's some pop, um, there's some ballad as the name says. So I'm gonna be using the one song on all the speakers. So let's start off with the review boys. Um, let's just see which ones they are. Okay, I'm going to restart that. Just going to put the volume the same for all. So we will be listening on minus 15 decibels on the receiver, which is a nice volume. It's loud, but it's not too loud. So here we go. First up, pork. Reserve 600 series. Hold on guys, I just spotted from the back that the toe is not 100% correct. And I want to keep this fair, so we're going to play them a bit more. My microphone is also placed in the center so you guys can get a very good stereo image. I'm going to start it again. speaker which is going to be I'll tell you now I'm not sure what they on Bowers and Wilkins guys fine detail that comes in towards the end of the songs if you guys want to focus on that um, I think that's going to be where you hear the most difference so far the bass on the Polks and the Bowers for me are on par the power the Bowers have a little more up top um, where the Polks are a bit more laid back some people might like that I like a laid back speaker but then sometimes I also like a more forward sounding speaker as the Bowers are one of my favorite entry speakers. Being the most expensive year, it's still Bowers and Wilkins being the most premium brand out of all of these. 
So let's go on to the next one. Let's see what is up. FS250 Bentis. These are so hard to beat. It's almost an unfair competition here, but we have to sort of keep apples with apples in the asking price. But like I say, being locally produced for the overseas guys, you can't get them and they won't be that price when they get shipped to you. So not really a fair fight in money here, but in sound, they do have the most out of everything here. They have the most detail, most mids, most lows. My only drawback on them, um, like I've had a few clients say before, if you are very finicky about finish, um, they being hand finished, locally made, you do have the slight imperfections in the wrap, like, but they're at the back, at the back in small things where the pulps would be flawlessly executed. There's no little joints anywhere on these. Um, the, the finish is an absolute premium. So when you take that into account, if you are a guy that goes for premium, Flawless finish, go for the Bowers or the Polk. I actually think the Polk is finished better than the Bowers. Polk has an insanely good finish um, to a point where I don't even know how they get it that good. Um, but yeah, if you want to go for the sound over the finish and the finish doesn't bug you, then you go for the Bendy. So let's go to the last one on the list, the FS120s. They should be number one. Let's see. Bentley FS120 quickly I want to listen to them one more time
I listen to so many of these speakers and I must say it's not getting any easier. The competition is getting so close on these guys. Um, nowadays it's really coming to a point where you just sort of um, need to choose your brand and where your loyalties lie and what sort of look you like because the sound is getting so close. Um, love these R600s. I love their finish. I love the pinnacle tweeter. I love the turbine cones. These for me on looks being black and white and you also get them in is it the walnut or the cherry I think it's the walnut. I absolutely adore these speakers. Um, so guys, if this is what the review is actually about, is the R600s. If you guys, I know there's one guy on, 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 on YouTube asked me for a review on these. Go get them. You asked how are they compared to, was it the RTI7? These, much better in every way. Remember, these drivers trickle down exactly like this from the much more expensive, um, res no, this is the reserve, what, the legend from the much more expensive Legend series. So same driver, different cabinet build, um, being the finish just being like a plain plastic black, still perfectly executed. Go and buy them, you won't be sorry. Um, yeah, so that's basically it guys. Then on the sound point of view, I think these, um, the Bowers have a bit more up high. I think the 120s are basically on par sound wise with these. These have a better sound to them um being oh they're the same price oh what do i take yeah guys it comes down to finish if you don't mind small little imperfections in finish um i would take those for music um if you do mind finishes i would take these and movie wise movie wise your sure, movies i don't know I don't know normally i go according to music if something sounds good on music it normally sounds good on movies as well but then i get back to the point where you, you, you want to go proper movies you're not going to be using speakers you're going to be using thx cinema speakers and that's the review i did previously with the bauer and wilkins and the clips if you haven't checked that one out go back i think it's like two or three videos back and you'll see that one but guys i hope that i hope you you like this the shoots out and the review on the R600s. Once again, thank you to Homation for sponsoring these for the video. I'm still gonna enjoy them for a while. I'm gonna keep them up here and then they will go back to them. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these products, um, give me a shout or I will point you into, well, you can actually contact Homation. They will point you into the direction of your closest dealer. And yeah, that's only for South Africa, guys. Check your listings for people in your country closest dealers um let me know what you want to see next do you want to see some clips monitor audio um what's new um i need to go and check what's new i'll have another video of early morning coffee this week and we'll talk about what is new new stuff coming to the market etc etc guys if you like this please like and subscribe till the next one cheers